Hello, this is Sart with Mythic MTG Tech number 361 going over the top 10 group hug cards for Commander. Commander is really that fun, fluffy format where you try to make friends by giving them wonderful hugs. And while you're thinking about this video, if you could also think about the card art that has the best hugs in the game, it's very difficult to search by card art, and I would love to have your help in finding those warm, fuzzy embrace cards. Please leave them in the comments. On the number 10 spot here, we have Chains of Metastopheles. It's really like putting a choker around the rest of the table's neck. Every time they draw a card, they don't really have to worry about it because they'll be discarding cards or directly milling them. Add in a little bit of forced fruition, you've got a $400 combo that is gonna make you friends at the table. The number nine spot here, we've got Apocalypse. And Wildfire, who needs to worry about permanence? or creatures, or lands. Let's just get rid of everything on the board, make it easier for people. It's gonna help them with their decision-making process. Teferi's Puzzle Box. Oh, the original artwork even has a little hugging box there. Who needs to plan ahead when you're gonna get a whole new hand on your turn? Let's cycle through some more cards, not have to worry about planning ahead. Number seven spot here, let's just get rid of all of the choices. Let's add in a card, like Rule of Law which gives us the opportunity to only play one spell per turn and then limit the number of cards that individuals can play. This will just make it significantly easier for players overall. Great idea. The number six spot here, we've got a classic helper combo, the Abyss. Beautiful artwork at a mere $400. For an extra $150, you can add on a classic wing congestion like the original Alpha Juggernaut. Make friends, influence people, attack with classic cards. Number five spot here, we've got Tainted Ether. I mean, who really needs creatures? This is a game about spells. Throw in a Grave Pact on there and you're going to make friends and they're gonna feel the warmth embrace of death. Number four spot here, we've got Everyone's favorite, most expensive land out there, the Tabernacle at Prendral Vale. It has been reworded in its simplicity to basically get rid of creatures unless you pay a mana for each of them during your upkeep. I mean, who really needs creatures? Pretty lands is all you really need in a deck. For a mere $1,500, you are making friends in Commander right away. Number three spot, we've got one of my absolute favorites. I mean, I have this emblazoned upon my arm for everyone to see. Stasis. We forget the untap phase all the time and move directly to draw. Now you don't even have to worry about it. There isn't an untap phase. For a alpha, $400, you are making friends right away. The number two spot here, I've got two of my favorite cards. Humility, who cares about that pesky text on creatures? They're all just one ones with no abilities. And let's just put a mode out there so we don't even have to worry about what they're doing at that point. They can't even attack. And nice, simple, make the the game easy for people. With the Moat Humility combo for 600 bucks, you have allowed people the opportunity to simplify the game into just spells. None of those pesky creatures being annoying anymore. The number one spot here, where would this list be without some of the best hug cards out there? Static Orb, Winter Orb, and Smoke Stacks. They're really like that bear coming around and crushing every single part of your body before devouring you. This is what Group Hug is all about, and these cards are very reasonably priced. What cards did I forget on the Group Hug list? Please post them in the comments. Thank you, this has been Sartreus with Mythic MTG Tech. Until next time, choose the cards wisely. Please, Check out the sponsors in chess.com and subscribe to the channel so that we can have more wonderful, happy discussions about making cards that help create community.